So I'm here at uh, Volta Station, just uh, north of Boston, not to look at these level two chargers, which are free and certainly very welcome, but to look at Volta DC fast charging. How far have we got since the initial announcement in October 2019? What can we expect to see coming this year, 2021? And uh, how much does it cost once you get off that first 30 minutes free? Let's take a look at Volta DC fast charging. So we've talked in the past about the level two fast chargers here, which uh, you'll get two or three hours free on your local grocery stores, theater. But what about the DC fast charging? That was announced back in October of 2019 to a decent amount of fanfare, talking about the uh, 30 minutes you'd get free at DC fast chargers at uh, retail centers. 100 kilowatts was the power level discussed. Um, we did visit the uh, first site down in Norwalk, Connecticut last year on the way back from fully charged live it was in the ground ready to go but it was behind valet parking and the power was not flowing so we didn't get a charge to a chance to try it but uh, now they have put the first station down in uh, just north of houston in texas at the woodlands mall and we know the pricing we know a bit more about people having tested it out so let's uh, jump in the car because it's very cold and uh, look at the price and what they might be doing in terms of expanding volta free dc fast charging so Volta is a company, we haven't heard a whole lot about them in uh, throughout 2020. Again, you have to assume that because of the retail slowdown and a lot of uh, disruption from the pandemic, then, uh, you know, things have slowed down on their planning side. But they have in January of this year uh, gathered another Series D funding round, 125 million. So, you know, uh, slowly expanding as they have since that uh, DC fast charging announcement. We're at two, more than 200 towns now across 23 states. Um, their model, they seem to have been fairly reliable around our area, at least. They uh, had them down in Framingham by the Tesla Supercharger that we visited a couple of weeks ago. There were many of them down there uh, in, you know, frequent use. Suffer from the same problem as uh, a lot of people do with uh, any free charging site. You know, people camp on the Level 2s quite a lot. So, you know, Volta as a business seems to be continuing. It's got that extra funding. It's got the expanding into new markets and also trying to get this DC fast charging off the ground. But uh, how quickly they can do that will probably be the real test. Uh, there are uh, DC uh, fast charging uh, stations that are free around the country, but they tend to be either, you know, slower dealership options or just uh, things that you have trouble keeping in uh, any kind of state of repair because people don't prioritize stuff that they don't pay for. But with uh, Volta, the idea is that it's ad supported, as we say, so they do want to keep those uh, stations in good working order to have a good experience for the customer and to have that, uh, you know, positive association with the brands that are on their big screens. But in a positive development at the start of this year, January 2021, uh, just north of Houston, Texas, at the Woodlands Mall, the uh, second station in the ground and at the first uh, Volta DC fast charging station that's active, first person using it was uh, being BMW i3, who said he charged for 30 minutes um, at around a rate of 43 kilowatts. Now that's going to be potentially limited by the i3 itself. I'm not so familiar with the charging curve of that car. But um, after 30 minutes, it's supposed to be 27 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, he actually got shut off. So he said the charge stopped and he was up to 80 something percent. It's a very cost effective charge. If you're getting, if you stay on for another half an hour, say most people are gonna be pretty much done after a um, an hour long charge. 27 cents per kilowatt hour is cheaper than even uh, Electrify America on its membership plan. So you're still on a good rate there. And uh, with the extra 30 minutes thrown in for free, that's uh, even more beneficial. So if the power is there, you know, so they were talking about 100 kilowatt charging, which will do most of the current models. Uh, once you start to get into stuff like the Mach-E, ID4, um, Nissan Ariya, and some of the uh, more powerful cars, you're going to be, uh, you know, not so uh, chuffed with that charge rate, but again, free for half an hour and then a very reasonable rate thereafter. If you're uh, not worrying about time because you're shopping anyway, then uh, that's that's looking like a good uh, good prospect for the moment. it's exciting to see at least one going live down in Houston. Uh, we would like some kind of you know official announcement of what their plans are and how quickly they expect this to roll out. A year and a half is a long time, but again, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt that, uh, you know, 
it's tough to expand into a retail environment that is primarily closed and charging for people who aren't really going to visit. So hopefully that starts to gather pace as we get further into 2021 and uh, we see more of these Volta DC fast chargers popping up around the country. But for now, we have that update. It's looking good, nice price, uh, hopefully gets good utilization. And if you're in the area, I've checked it out. Let us know in the comments what it's like. If you would like to see one in your area, you know, do you think that's a good uh, balance of uh, price versus free? Do you think it should maybe be more graded so you have, uh, you know, a little decent price after the first 30 minutes free and then after another 15 minutes, 30 minutes maybe, you start to get uh, punitive pricing to move people on. What do you think the best way is for the company to kind of monetize that and make sure that it keeps the balance of people getting enough charge while also having them move on so that somebody else can get on that. Let us know in the comments. Always interested to hear what you think. It's nice to have different uh, business models popping up and uh, seeing these things start to gather some momentum hopefully this year. And uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. If there's more news, we will let you know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.